nocturnal thoughts. I'll give you a proper salute. Message in a bottle for Anthony Joshua. I heard he was going in for the rematch. My advice. My message in a bottle. After the post, after the fight, the post conference, the post interview, you know, Eddie Hearn said that Anthony Joshua was completely gutted. But you're not going to see that on stage. He's going to put on his game face. And he came out there to do his press conference. And he said he wanted to focus on the positives. Not to soak and not to have excuses. I understand. I commend. But I do not know if I recommend. I'm not eternal. And from what I experienced on my 41 years on this planet, soon to be 42, is you have to go into the dark in order to appreciate the light. You have to go through it. You have to go into the negative to understand and, and appreciate the positive. So I understand that you want to focus on the positive and be optimistic and the glass is halfway full, not halfway empty. But at, at the end of the day, yin and yang, you got to take everything in a proper balance. If you want to find that dog, if you want to find that anger, if you want to find that extra motivation, you also have to understand the dark side. Like, like Master Yoda, he knew the powers of the dark side. That's why he was able to flip it. So the whole nice guy, polished, manicure, PR, always says the right thing. That's cool. But you need to go back into a beast mode mentality. You have to go into survival mode. And survival mode is, is made in the dark. The, the deep, dark, hidden places. That's where the warrior goes. That's where the alpha male gene goes when it goes dormant. When you have to be sophisticated and civilized and a father and a provider. That, that alpha male gene it's always there, but it goes into the dark spots. You know what I'm saying? And you have to be nocturnal thoughts. You have to go into the dark and, and reside there and live there and dwell there and build there. And then bring the warrior to the light. So you can't just be all, oh, I'm happy in defeat. I'm humble. I'm a nice guy, I'm focused on positive. You have to go into another zone. You have to go into another cave dwelling. You have to go into another chamber. Now, this is not gonna be the same as a rematch between Andy Ruiz. We all know that. You said after you beat Andy Ruiz, it was a punch from the gods and that if you took Andy Ruiz and, 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 and Anthony Joshua in a simulation nine times out of ten times, you would win that fight. Well, it's opposite for you and Alexander Usyk. I would say seven out of ten, Alexander Usyk is going to come out victorious based on on the performance that we saw last weekend. If you didn't change one thing about Alexander Usyk, every single step he took, every single movement that he made, and every single punch that he thrown, if you take that and you completely duplicate that again, most likely you don't have the answer sway. You most likely will come out losing that fight for another two or three times before you can figure out that Da Vinci code. So that step aside money might not be a bad idea. 
it might not be a bad idea. That's another video for another day. If you're going to do the rematch, I would say embrace the dark side and really, really, really find that warrior dog spirit mentality where you are confident in your abilities, confident in your cardio system, confident in your power, confident in your beard, in your chin, and you go out there and execute, execute not just a game plan, a survival mode, because it is a sweet science, and it is sweet, but at the end of the day, sometimes it's just two alpha males trying to bust each other's heads open, period, point blank. And you have to have that mentality where you're just going to bust this dude to pieces from head to toe. Nocturnal Thoughts. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. Salute. Bow. Sleepy girl at end, lively coming out. They be wondering what we talking about.